Here is a Demon carburetor. This is a 750 CFM race Demon carburetor that I recently picked up off of eBay for $400. Uh, these race Demon carburetors have a lot of adjustability, similar to a Holly XP. Um, but one thing about this carburetor, this is a Demon carburetor from prior to Holly purchasing Demon carburetors out of bankruptcy. Um, so it's a Barry Grant Demon carburetor. And one thing about the Barry Grant Demon carburetors, um, the alcohol carburetors had black metering blocks. So when I got this out of the box, I discovered it, it's an alcohol carburetor. You'll be able to see the metering blocks when I take it apart. Um, and so I was going to return it, but the seller said he would knock $150 off the price. So I got it for $250. Um, he claimed he didn't know it was alcohol. He had inherited the carburetor. Um, so the purpose of this video, I'll be going over how to convert this carburetor from alcohol to run on gas. All right, so unlike a Holley 4150 carburetor, uh, the bolts on the fuel bowls are... Allen head screws. Otherwise, this carburetor is it's very similar to a Holley 4150. I mean, other than the styling. Um, be able to see the metering blocks in a second. Whoops. So here you can see the metering block. Uh, again, the black metering blocks were for alcohol carburetors and the reason I can't just change the jets in this carburetor and use um, smaller jets is because the alcohol jets these jets are huge these are like 160s um, they have different thread sizes so the thread sizes on these are actually larger so I can't just take the jets out and replace with smaller jets actually you need to use a different metering block um, you can see the part number on this is a one two three Two five, um, and so I did pick up the the part number for the billet metering block for the Barry Grant Demon carburetor for 750 CFM race Demon like I have. It's actually right here an A12320. So I picked this up recently off eBay for twenty five dollars, but I haven't found a second one. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that. But as far as parts that I need to change on this carburetor, I got everything from Allstate Carburetors. And I bought two metering blocks. These are cast metering blocks, but these will work just fine. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. I may go back to a Barry Grant billet metering block if I can pick up another one of those. Um, so I need to change the metering block. So what else do I need to change? Uh, I need to change the, or basically everything is, is sized larger on um, the alcohol carburetor. I need to change the squirters. Uh, the air bleeds are different. The boosters are different. Actually on the race demon, um, you can see the throttle blades are drilled and this is for a large duration camshaft to uh, give it more air at idle. Um, so I'm also going to change the throttle blades. Let's see the throttle blades that I have here for also from Allstate Carb have replaceable or they, they have boosters on this carburetor, uh, unscrew. So here's the tool you use to take it out. Uh, they're basically four prongs and then there's, uh, threads that retain the Boosters, as you can see on the boosters right here. So the boosters are larger, the hole and the boosters. And I think that's about it. Here you can see the base plate. I've taken the base plate off the main body. Um, you just unscrew the six Phillips screws on the bottom of the base plate. You can see I still have gasket material stuck on the main body and the base plate. I do have a rebuild kit that I bought from Allstate Carb. Um, they have pretty much anything you could ask for to rebuild a Barry Grant Demon carburetor. If you can't find it on the website, just call and ask them. 
And so I'm going to take the throttle blades out. Uh, they come undone with, uh, these are Torx bit, uh, 15 size. So I need to take those out. All right, I've got the carburetor mostly cleaned off. The gas get, came off not too, without too much difficulty. Um, there's a little bit left on there, but I hit it with a CRC cleaner degreaser. Some WD-40 was pretty effective. Used a razor blade to pick it off a little bit. Probably use a scotch bright to go over it and get the rest of it off. I do have the uh, new throttle blades on, as you can see. So, we'll finish cleaning this up and get it reassembled. I have the main body and the base plate fastened together. I've installed a new gasket, and you can see the throttle plates open and close freely. If you're going to be rebuilding an old Barry Grant Demon Carburetor, I recommend that you get this book, Demon Carburation by Ray Bohatz. It gives you the specs on your carburetor, whether it's a road demon, speed demon, or race demon. In my case, this is a 750 CFM mechanical secondary race demon. Um, it's configured for oval track racing. That's what the OT is. Uh, the 40 here is the Venturi size, so 1.400 diameter. And I'm going to be setting mine up with the specs in this book for a Speed Demon. And that's because these carburetors were specced based on camshaft duration, amongst other things. And the motor that I'm going to be testing this carburetor out on is a 351 Windsor that's currently in my car, with which has a mild RV cam. And so the order of mild to wild in terms of demon carburetors, the Barry Grant demon carburetors was a road demon, speed demon, mighty demon, then race demon. And so I'm going to be using the numbers in this book. So the primaries are going to be 76s, secondaries are 83s, the booster size is 160, squirters are 31s. And I'll just post the specs on the rest of the... Uh, the air bleeds, the idle feed restrictors, power valve, channel restrictors on the screen. And so I'll see how it runs and then I'll go from there and change as needed. For idle feed restrictors, I'll be using O33s. For the power valve channel restrictors, I'll be using O59s. This is the primary side metering block. I'll now be using an 8.5 power valve. For the secondary metering block, uh, the power valve will be plugged. This metering block has fixed emulsion holes. For main jets, I'll be starting out with 76s. On the secondary side, I'll be starting out with 83s. shot of my AFR gauge as I'm cruising along. It's an Innovate Motorsports dual lambda gauge, uh, reading a little rich around 12 and a half to 13. Here's the gauge set to display in lambda. Here's a quick little pull going through the gears at about three quarters throttle with the uh, Demon carburetor. It does feel a little more snappy compared to the Edelbrock carburetor that I had on the car.
here is a plot of my air fuel ratio on a pole similar to what I just showed in the previous clip. Uh, this data was recorded from my AFR gauge. It does have a serial data output, so I was able to record it with my laptop and plot it here. I have indicated the shift points, and the only thing I'll note is that on first gear, I did have a little bit of a lean bog on takeoff. I have a couple ideas of what's causing that, and in fourth and fifth gear, just cruising along, you can see the AFR is around 12 and a half, which is probably, I could probably go down a couple numbers, maybe even four numbers on my primary jets. But being as I was just trying to get this carburetor running halfway decently, and I'm going to be putting it on my new motor, um, I think I'll leave it a little on the rich side so that when I start the new engine up, uh, it's, it's not too lean, and then I'll just adjust accordingly. All right, thanks for watching.